All right, well, today is, you guessed it, roofing day, kid. All right, we got our gaff shingles. We got our gaff starter shingles. We got some paper. We got some ridge vent stuff. We got our nails, obviously. And I'm looking for the drip edge. So we're going to go through this. And I got to get home. I got to rip the old stuff off. Today is uh, just I'm gonna get the roof done get it shingled because it's been raining and then I'll finish off with the uh, walls, so That's what we're doing These prices are pretty cheap We got some window cap, okay We got the drip edge Got it in all different colors white brown looks like a dark or, or black there so let me see what I have to get, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, I got all the materials over here. We got some paper, roofing paper, okay. And we got some ridge vent, and we got the drip edge. I grabbed a couple two by fours. I'll put up the uh, drip edge first in the front, paper on top. And once the paper's down, then you put your uh, your uh, side uh, your side drip edge, your, your uh, gable shit. You put that over the paper. So the front drip edge goes under paper, sides going up on each corner over the paper. And I'll show that when I get to that part. But right now, I'm going to take a break, go inside, get something to drink, and uh, that'll be it. All right, so I tore all the uh, old shingles off and I'm putting on the uh, paper and the drip edge. All right, so now what, we're gonna, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shingle, just show you a quick, you know, I'm not a master roofer, but I've learned a little bit over the years. I right, put your paper down, all right. They do have those uh, nails with the wider plastic uh, caps or whatever to keep them down but this is fine okay and what you want to do is you want to put your starter in okay you want to overlap the starter by about a quarter of an inch from your drip edge okay which is right there the drip edge okay then what you want to do is let me just do this real quick if you guys are out there and you want to just do your shed you want to do a quick shingling what you want to do is you want to measure the shingle you're going to put in Okay, it's about 13 and a quarter inches. So what I do is, because I want to have that quarter inch, you know, that overhang on the shingle, right on this side, you're gonna measure from your corner up to 13 inches, okay? I did it on both sides. I got a, I got a nail all the way on the other side. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna snap a line. So I know I'm straight from one side to the other. Don't concentrate too much down here. You want to go on your line. So, just for instance, if the line is there, right where that nail is, okay, and you want a quarter inch off the, the gable end and you want it off the side, okay, it lines up perfect right against the nail. And obviously, you want to go straight, you want to follow it straight here, and the way you follow it straight is the line. Once we snap this line all the way across so give me a few seconds i'll put the line up and i'll show you what i mean all right there you go from one end to the other okay that's how you get your straight line when you're working alone you know you got it takes a little bit longer i set up a ladder on that side put the line on there and i walk it across and snap it some guys will walk on the roof this pitch is a little too steep for me right now i like to get at least one or two courses down then I'll stand on it and work my way up, okay? The other thing you want to remember, and I'm sure all the roofers out there know, when you're dealing with these architectural shingles, and even three-tab shingles, the cheaper ones, 
you gotta when you lay them down you gotta step them you gotta lay them down like step them and what i mean by that is you put a full piece your first one is a full piece okay you're gonna follow the line you're gonna have your quarter inch overhangs like we talked about then your second piece you're gonna cut six inches your third piece you're gonna cut 11 inches and your fourth piece you're gonna cut 17 inches okay that's with these architectural shingles not only so you don't have open seams you're covering your seams from the other shingles like, you know for instance you want to be covering your seam with a solid shingle but those measurements are designed that when this roof is done it gives it a nice look you know it's all set up the right way so remember first one is a full sheet second one you minus six inches third you minus 11 inches and the fourth piece you minus 17. so i'll get i'll start cutting them and i'll show you what i mean when it's all set and done when it's all you know on the roof and then when you get all those pieces in then you just basically go full pieces from this side all the way to the end and when you get to the end you know you just cut your ends off but it's very important you start with full piece cut off six inches on the second on the third you cut off 11 inches and on the fourth you cut off 17 inches and it'll be like a step and i'll show you what it looks like in a second and the other thing is very important and everybody knows this but there's a line on these shingles this is the nail line a lot of people will nail up here or even into even into the, the tar line but you got you only have about three quarters of an inch where this shingle is doubled up these are two pieces there's a piece here and a piece here so you want to get through the nail to get through both pieces if not if you get a wind coming through or if anything these middle ones will fail and come out okay so remember this is the nail line not up here not up here and when you hear those gun guys going that's sometimes most of the time if you watch videos they're missing the lines so that roof's gonna fail eventually Listen, I learn a lot on YouTube. I watch a lot of good guys on YouTube. Um, there's one called the uh, Fastest uh, Roofer. And uh, I'll put his link at the bottom, but this guy knows his stuff. I learned a lot from him. And if, if, he's, if he's watching my videos, I, I, I just want to say thank you to the guy. And I'll keep watching more. All right, stay tuned, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's stepped. All right, this is what I mean by stepping it. You got your full piece on the bottom, okay? second piece see how it, second piece is six inches in right here then the third one is in okay then the fourth one it steps up full piece okay, i don't know if you could see it okay now what you do because you have one two three you have four courses set you could just go straight across now with the four all right full piece so you're going to take a full piece as long as you set up your steps right and it's square you want to just even it out and follow that line you see the line keep it right on the top of the line and guess what I got the nail done going I got the rigid baby so see the rigid right here you want this is the nail line like we talked about okay you want to make sure you're straight That's it. And you just follow suit, one after another. Okay. I like to put five nails in each. You know, long pieces. Space them out. Don't put them right on the seams here. Keep them away from them seams. But get it in where you're supposed to nail it. Okay. That's it. Let me finish off. I'll start running full pieces. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Or not a few minutes, but you know what I mean, kid. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Oh, and another thing, when you're working on the roof, be careful. I didn't have a good experience, and uh, we'll get into that in another video, but just be careful. Take your time. Don't rush. You know, I, I, I rushed the last time, and, and it, you know, it almost cost me. So I, I've learned my, I'm sorry, I've learned my lesson. And again, we're going to rock it today with the Rigid. It's working out well. Hasn't jammed yet. It's a good gun, and it's light. I will right, we'll talk to you soon.
as you can see I'm up on the roof now doing the uh, doing the shingling from the roof got off the ladder I'll tell you what this thing right here is a game changer no problems at all it's definitely a lot easier doing it with the gun so I suggest even if you're gonna do a small project hundred couple hundred square whatever the, the roof is square feet um, definitely rent one or even if you buy a cheap one you know from Harbor Freight this one was about 229 239 but it comes with that warranty like all the other tools which is good um, I'm not sure if it's lifetime I think it's three years but the uh, some parts in it are for life but it's, it hasn't given me one problem yet I know I'm not doing a heck of a lot but it's coming along I just got a little bit left I'm not gonna put a ridge vent in because it's uh there's no attic it's cathedral all the way up and it's only two by four I don't think I need the ridge vent um, shoot a comment at the bottom tell me what you think I could always cut one in but I don't think I need one I've seen some with some without all right well let me finish off again I recommend this guy here it works nice I got it running down and it's in the uh, I got a compressor in the trailer with a hundred foot cord everything you know if you see my videos the trailer set up I don't have to even move that compressor out if I'm close which is nice and uh, yeah let me finish this up and then we'll start framing that last wall and we could put some sheathing up some t111 all right we'll see you soon Use the one hand I'm holding the, the, uh, the phone here but you line up your shingle once you get your straight line okay give it a quick look make sure you're looking good as long as you line it up you grab the gun and remember I told you about the lines Okay, you want to nail within the line, that orange line, and that's it, it's coming out nice, I'm almost finished. Alright, the roofing's done, 99.9%, I even put the cap on, what sucks, excuse my language, is I was short about four or five pieces on the cap, so I got to go buy, I got to buy a bundle, it's like $55 I believe. I only need five pieces. I don't know if they sell separates. I don't think they do. Um, if anyone has this color out there, you want to send it to me? <laughs> I'm only kidding. So I got to head to Home Depot. I got to get another bundle. And what I'm going to do is I actually have an extra uh, set, uh, extra thing of shingles. I'm going to return and then just flip it over. And I'll just have those extras for maybe another job. All right, so just a quick how I have it set up. I put my ladder under this kind of lock it in it's uneven over here it's a little gotta be careful I brace it with some two by fours or some four four by fours um, what I do is I brace it against the building I don't want to put it up on the side I don't want to bend or damage the uh, the drip edge or the shingle so I put it kind of on a pitch where I can just walk right up it and you literally just walk right from the top step on okay so I got the caps on like I said I'm a few short and then I just got to cover this side with some uh, I'm gonna do that t111 I believe it's called to match this stuff and then we'll start on the inside all right that's it for today roofing complete almost just those ridge caps I gotta get a few extras and get up there and just uh, tack them in that's it so what I'll do now is I'm done for today if you were wondering how my setup is if you've never seen my trailer got the hose there the compressor I got a plug over there an outlet go check out my other video how I wired this thing with a back feed type deal that spool over there the extension cord that unravels 100 feet comes out of the trailer and I plug it into a power source okay that's how I feed this trailer when I'm working. All right, I'm going to pack everything up, leave everything on the tables right now. I'm not going anywhere the next couple days with this because um, i got to finish doing those uh, two pieces of cap. 
then I'll start working on this uh, outside the outdoor siding oh yeah I almost forgot before I leave hey Sonny Sonny where are you Sonny there you go <laughs> my boy right there yeah okay try to come if somebody try to come into the yard if they can get past him you can have the nail gun cuz but remember on your way out I got a scope on you with a beam you won't make it to the gate bro Sonny what are you doing kid all right